Hi everyone, Chart GPT AI tool, top short questions and MCQs for UPSC. A quick revision video for the top competitive examination. The first question is What is Chart GPT? I think you may know what is meant by Chart GPT. Chart means charting, G means generative, PT means pre trained. P means pre-trained, T means transformer, generative pre-trained transformer. GPT is an advanced artificial intelligence, artificial intelligence, but advanced artificial intelligence. That is a more highly developed artificial intelligence chart board. Chart board here means a kind of robo, charting robo. Developed by OpenAI. OpenAI is the name of the company that understands and generate generates means produces creates human like text the text which resembles our text using deep learning so the technology used here is the ai technology used is deep learning based on the generative pre-trained transformer model that is why we call it chart gpt chart means charting gpt means generative pre-trained transformer model next question is how is chart gpt useful Chart GPT is useful for generating. Generating means producing or creating quick, accurate. Accurate means perfect text, accurate text, answering questions, summarizing information. If you have given an essay of a thousand words, it will summarize it into 100 words. So that is an example. Creating content. Content here means anything. That may be an essay, that may be an email content, that may be a marketing content, that may be any write up. And translating languages, translating languages means converting uh, the content from one language to the other language and assisting in uh, helping in learning, research, and communication tasks. Communication tasks means email tasks or uh, publicity tasks, marketing tasks. Or whatever it might be. So that is how is Chart GPT useful. Next question is how does Chart GPT work? Chart GPT works using a generative pre-trained transformer. We already discussed this model that analyzes analyzes input text. Whatever the message we give to Chart GPT, whatever the prompt or command we give to Chart GPT, that is a split into different parts. That is analysis understands the context context means for what purpose we have given that prompt context through deep learning deep learning is ai technology and predicts foretells the most likely next words coherently coherently means as per the prompt it gives us it predicts it foretells the exact answers Next question is what are chart GPT's features? Chart GPT features include natural language understanding. So it is natural language means our language, whatever we tell, whatever we say, whatever the oral command we use that it can understand. Text generation, it generates a content, it generates essays, it generates emails, it generates a articles it generates a content for blogs content for videos summarization i already told so big content will be summarized into a brief a paragraph of content translation means converting one language to other language question answering creative writing creative writing means that is article writing so writing uh, or a story writing Coding help. Coding means uh, where we use code, uh, we use codes in a uh, programming. That programming code can also be generated by chart GPT. Conversational memory. The mem whatever we say that is memorized. Our uh, conversations are uh, memorized, are kept in the memory of chart GPT and multilingual, many language. Multi means many lingual means language. Multi-language communication support. Communication help will be there. Next question, what are chart GPT's limitations? Chart GPT performs so many things, but there are some limitations. 
some demerits. So it can it may not be capable of doing some thing that is called limitation. Chat GPT's limitations include generating inaccurate or biased information. Inaccurate means not the exact answer what we expect. It may or may not be 100% right. Biased information, partial information or information that is as per the dictates of the governments, as per the dictates of certain rules and regulations. It may not, to certain extent, it may not be perfect information. Lacking real understanding, sometimes our prompts or kind of commands can't be understood by chat GPT. It are emotions. We may write us, uh, we may write some prompt or command with uh, happiness or with anger or with uh, some uh, emotions that may not be understood by the chat GPT. Depending on training data and struggling with reasoning. So as uh, it can't understand emotions, it cannot uh, uh, go for uh, reasoning and give you exact data. Context retention. Context means uh, we have given a command with a certain uh, motive, certain aim that may not be there in the memory of the chart GPT. And factual precision. Factual means fact related and the truth, the precision of truth may not be there. Next question, how to use chart GPT? Chart GPT is used by typing prompts, or do we call commands, you know, whatever we, the text we write in the uh, box of the chart GPT is called a prompt or question. It replies instantly. This means instantly means within a few seconds, you get the answer with text-based answers, explanations, or creative content. So it, it may be in the form of an image or it may be in the form of a video. It may be in the form of an article. Ideal means suitable for learning, writing, and quicker research. Next question, what is chart GPT? Where is chart GPT useful? Chart GPT is useful in education. That means for our formal education, for our uh, school studies or college studies, for content creation, for creation of articles, creation of stories, creation of a video content or creation of a marketing content, customer support. Customer support means, so the support for the consumers, coding assistant, that is in programming languages, language translation, research, brainstorming ideas. If you go with a one prompt, if you give a one prompt, it gives uh, many ideas out of which you can uh, select a suitable one, exam preparation, writing and conversational AI applications. So these are the short questions which are important for our competitive examinations. So next we can go through MCQs. First question, what does GPT in chart GPT stand for? As we know, the answer is B, that is uh, G means generative, P means pre-trained, T means transformer. Chart GPT means generative, pre-trained, transformer. Second question is which organization developed Chart GPT? So answer is C, that is Open AI, that is the name of the company. Third question is in which year was Chart GPT initially released? Answer is C, 2022. Fourth question, Chart GPT is primarily designed for, primarily basically designed for, answer is B, natural language understanding and generation. Fifth question, which version of the GPT model is Chart GPT based on? Now, Chart GPT is based on GPT-4 because uh, we are using GPT-5. So it is based on GPT-4. In the coming years, it depends on the previous models. The uh, existing models depend on the previous models. Next question is, what is the key feature of Chart GPT's architecture? Here, architecture is design. The chief feature of GPT's uh, design is a B answer, self attention mechanism it doesn't depend on others for uh, generating the answer seventh question which of the following task task means work can chat gpt perform answer is d all of the above see let generate text translate languages answer questions the so answer is d all of the above eighth question chat gpt's responses are generated based on on what basis chat GPT give the response? The answer is B, user input. User input is our input, our questions, our prompts, and a trained data. Trained data means data which was already 
fed in the system. Ninth question, what is a primary limitation of chat GPT? So answer is A, that it provides the most probable answer based on context. Most probable answer, not a 100% perfect. Tenth question, which of the following is not a feature of chat GPT? So there are out of four options, three options are right, one option is wrong. That is the first one, text summarization is okay. Image classification is wrong. Conversational responses right, text completion is right. So answer is B, image classification. So if you are interested to improve your knowledge, you can go through, uh, you can uh, take uh, certified online courses. The links are given here. Uh, if you want, uh, you can go for uh, reference books. You can get these reference books online on online stores. And the uh, top five websites are given. You can directly go to the websites and you can improve your knowledge. If you want uh, more uh, information about uh, the topic, you can go through the article which is there on the screen. Uh, that is gkview.com. The link is given in the descriptive description box. If you want more such articles, at the bottom, a link is given. Discover more interesting articles. Click this button. You will go to the general knowledge all topics page. Here you have more uh, topics and with more articles. Okay. If you have liked the video, please press the like button and uh, share the article to your friends who are preparing for the competitive examinations. Subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. Thank you for watching this video.